Thanks, Dana. Well, developing right now, this guy is free and he is safe. After a week of wandering and waiting, the now famous dog who had a metal pipe stuck on his head is literally out of the woods. Oconee County Animal Control just telling us moments ago he has been caught and miraculously they say he's in good health after his entire ordeal. And take a look, Animal Control sent us this picture of them loading Piper into the truck. Looks pretty relaxed there. I'm sure he's just happy now to be going somewhere safe, get out of the weather for a little while because a lot of rain this weekend on him. I think it kind of cleaned him up a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> good to see that though because a lot of people have been very concerned about him. Yeah, social media has blown up. It's mm -hmm. also caused some harsh criticism from viewers over how the whole situation was handled. Right, and Fox Carolina's Andrew Reeser has been on this story from day one. He's here in the studio with the latest on this. So a lot of talk about this online, Andrew. Everybody's talking about this. It was even in the, I believe the New York Daily News today, the dog free from the piping and actually the man who took care of him long before this whole incident says he's ready to adopt the dog who was abandoned near his property one year ago. Big boy. For Charles Williams, who lives in this rural area of Oconee County, it's been a long week. People that love animals, they say we're not doing nothing, we're not feeding him and we're not trying to get it off of him. And, you know, it just, it's run wild. It it's all because of this. A dog caught in a piece of metal ductwork for days. He's been dubbed Piper by locals, but Williams simply calls him Pup. This morning, the story took a turn when Charles spotted a now pipeless Piper. Emergency part of it is, is over with, so it's going to give us a chance to come in here and work better with Mr. Williams in catching the, catching the dog. And their plan worked. Late Monday evening, officials caught the elusive canine after leaving out food to get the dog's attention. He's real shy of people, and I've been working with him trying to get him, but uh, he'll come to me, but he won't let me touch him. And that was the hard part in catching him, Williams says. He wants to give Piper a forever home after his ordeal. I'm going to get him. I'm going to have him spayed and uh, neutered and uh, have his shots and all that done. I'm going to keep him here, yeah. <laughs> And officials hope the public hears the moral of the story as loud and clear as these dogs barks. No more dumping unwanted pets. We won't charge you anything, just bring the animals to us. It's dumping, they say, that has these 500 acres overrun with strays like Piper, who get into jams like this and have a hard time getting out. And Piper will spend the night at the Oconee County Animal Shelter, and in the morning, he's going to be going to a vet to get checked out. Guys. So, Andrew, I know so many people are relieved to see that he's okay. There was a lot of worry over him. Any idea of when Piper might head back to his new home? Well, I actually just talked with Charles Williams over the phone moments ago. He said it may be a few days before the dog can be adopted. Now, a lot of people, again, as you mentioned on social media, actually very skeptical that the dog they caught tonight is even Piper. So I'll tell you more about those naysayers coming up at 11. For now, live in the studio, Andrew Reeser, Fox Carolina News Tonight.